He rented a home previously valued at £100 million during his recent visit to London. So Justin Bieber had high standards to match for his short stay up north. The 22-year-old superstar has rented a £17,000 per month rural retreat for his gigs in Manchester and Sheffield. And he might need it too. Because he stomped off stage in Manchester at the weekend when fans booed him for taking too long between songs. The £4.75 million property looks like the grass-covered Teletubbies home with its very own Elipad, football pitch and indoor swimming pool and gym. The multi-level property is built into a hillside and has its very own leisure section, including a fully equipped sports bar with fridges, seating and three TV screens. The bar overlooks an open hall used for indoor games such as cricket, badminton and football. Parallel to the sports hall is the indoor pool with a steam room, jacuzzi and changing rooms, as well as the gym. The seven-bedroom home also has its own wine cellar and outdoor adventure area with a zip wire, playground and tree house. It is owned by tycoon Steve O'Connor, who made millions from his own rail freight and logistics company, and is now a majority shareholder at Widden's Vikings Rugby League Club. He and his wife put the home on the market in 2014 for £4.75 million but have been unable to sell it. Bieber, 22, is renting the home for the Northern England leg of his current world tour which has seen him play three nights in Manchester last week. It comes days after he hired a 15-bedroom mega mansion in London at a cost of £108,333 a month, or almost £1.3 million a year, while playing at London's O2 Arena. The 24,000 square feet house, which has the same floor space as 20 semi-detached homes, was put on the market in 2012 for £100 million. It eventually sold for £25 million. As soon as news of his move to the North London home broke, dozens of his notoriously obsessive fans, dubbed believers, gathered outside the red brick property, hoping for a glimpse of their idol. Bieber's stay in the North has not been without controversy. On Sunday he stormed off stage during a gig in Manchester after asking fans to stop screaming in the gaps between songs. I appreciate all the support, I appreciate love I appreciate the kind things, he said. But the screaming in these breaks has got to stop. Please and thank you. I don't think it's necessary when I'm trying to say something and you guys are screaming. When the audience failed to go quiet he dropped his microphone and walked off the stage, with some fans booing as he left. Bieber later returned to continue to the gig and explained why he'd walked off. I feel like I want to connect with you, he said. The point of the no screaming thing is that when I'm looking at you in the eyes you know that we're actually having a moment and having a connection. He told the crowd they were awesome, but after realizing fans were still screaming at it, I'm just going to quit the talking all right. I'm not going to talk the rest of the night. We're just going to do the music. Obviously Manchester just can't handle it so let's do the music. Earlier in the week Bieber told a crowd in Birmingham to calm down and stop screaming while he was talking, suggesting screaming is just so obnoxious.